A five-member delegation of the Tibet local government signed a 17-point agreement with the central government on May 23, 1951. That document is known as the agreement between the central people's government and the local government of Tibet on measures for the peaceful liberation of Tibet. The document specifies the Tibetan people's right to exercise regional autonomy under the unified leadership of the central government. Isup is the archivist who maintains the agreement, which includes two language versions signed by both sides. Isup says that to protect the agreement, the Tibet archives has made several replicas for display, while the original is always kept in the institution's library. Tibet's climate is dry. And the temperature is quite cool, so this helps preserve paper files permanently. The Tibet Archive Administration has over three million pieces of historical documents. It's one of the biggest archives in China. However, over a third of the documents need repair and restoration, which is about a million pieces of documents. Some of the historical documents come in just bits and pieces, and restoration isn't easy. Technicians need to first test the ink on the paper to see if it can be safely immersed in water. If so, the technicians can then soak the entire paper to fully spread it and paste it onto another piece of paper to eliminate any holes. We have six restorers. If we make a calculation based on their current work speed, we will still need 100 years to finish restoring the files that we have. Nimatashi says the technicians work on the documents in the order of old to new, and to keep the records completely safe, they also make digital and physical copies. The archive also keeps the copies in other parts of China. That way, Tibet's history would never ever get lost.